Hello friends, this is Shiva from Yes English. Last time I made a video on homophones. After watching the video, a mother has sent me this message. She wrote, What about those words which have same spellings and same sounds but different meanings? For example, write. My kid asked this. Friends, it was an amazing experience that a mother has shown the video to her son and the son has come up with an intelligent question. I gave her a reply but that very question prompted me to make this video. Today's video is about homonyms. So let's start. But before we go ahead, please subscribe to my channel as well as you can see me on my Facebook page and Instagram. So let's go ahead. First of all, what's the difference between a homophone and a homonym? Let's have a look at the words. Homophone. Homo means same. Phone means voice, sound. Okay. So the complete meaning of the word is the words which sound alike but their spellings are different and meanings are different. They are called homophones. So what's a homonym? As I told before, homo means same and nim means name. Homonym, the same name. The same word, but it carries a different meaning. Like for example, in the message, the boy mentioned right. Right means when it is right, your answer is right. For example, it is right, correct. Another meaning of right, as you know, is the opposite of left. Right and left. Okay. The same word, same spelling, same sound, but it carries a different meaning when it is used in different contexts. So always remember the meaning of the same word depends on the context, in which context you are using it. Also, the placement of the word in a sentence matters a lot when we look at the meaning. There are many homonyms in English, but in this video, I brought a few for you guys. Okay, so let's start. Number one, address. It means to speak to. As you can see in the picture, the speaker is addressing the audience. As well in the example sentence, you can see you should address the issue in the speech. Another meaning of address is the details of the place wherein someone lives. For example, if somebody asks you, what's your name and address? That time you have to tell your name. At the same time, you need to give the details of the area in which you live. That's another meaning of address. Number two is bark. As you can see in the picture, it means the outer layer of a tree. Sometimes the bark is used in medicines. The other meaning of bark is very common. A dog barks. For example, the dog gave a loud bark. Number three is bright. Bright, as you can see in the picture, the morning is very bright, full of light. The sun is shining in the sky. So the morning is bright. The same word bright is used when you are talking about a person, about his qualities. Like for example, someone is very bright means he is very intelligent, quick to learn the things. You all students are very bright. Number four, current. Current means up to date. Like for example, we have current affairs, current news. So for example, what's the current price of gold in the market? Means what is today's price of gold in the market? Another meaning of current is a flow of water. You can say there is a current of fresh water in the forest. You can see in the picture. One more meaning of current is the flow of electricity through a wire. Number five is match. It's very commonly used for a sports event. As you can see in the example, I'll probably watch the football match on TV. Another meaning of match is to find something very similar. These figures match with each other. Number six is band. One meaning of band is a group of musicians. In a sentence you can use like this. He plays drums in a popular band. Another meaning of band is a strip of paper or cloth. As I have shown in the picture, she puts a yellow band around her wrist. Okay. Number seven, kind. Kind means a variety or a type. For example, we have the same kind of car. As you can see in the picture, all red cars are there. 
and the other meaning of kind is very very common when somebody is very friendly or generous you can say he is very kind like for example in the picture you can see that the man was very kind to his horse next is one of the most beautiful words on my vocabulary list spring spring is the season between winter and summer like for example the flowers bloom and the birds sing during the spring season another meaning of spring is an action to jump like for example the cat was about to spring number 9 well a deep hole in the ground from where people get water like for example there is a well in our farm another meaning of well is in a good health for example if somebody asks you how are you i'm well i'm good number 10 is clip it's an object which is used to hold the things together for example she put a clip in her hair to hold the hair together another meaning of clip is a short part of a film for example here is a clip from her latest movie on number 11 we have the word sink it means to go down below the liquid surface like for example in the picture you can see two boats are there one is sinking and the other one is floating on the water after looting the pirates tried to sink the boat into the sea the other meaning of sink is very common it means a wash basin you might have seen it in the kitchen or in the washroom leave your plates in the sink number 12 light light it's a form of energy which makes things visible for example the light bulb was one of the most important inventions in the 19th century the other meaning of light is related to weight it's not heavy it's opposite to heavy there are just a few things in the bag it's a light bag number 13 fly fly a small insect as you can see in the picture a fly settled on the leaf the other meaning of fly as you know it's a verb it's an action move through the air like for example in the picture i have shown the birds fly high in the sky number 14 is tie t i e first one is a verb means hold together for example i tie back my hair when i'm cooking right the other meaning of tie is a piece of cloth that men prefer to wear around their neck you can see in the picture he prefers to wear a coat and a tie number 15 is ruler it means ruler the king okay he was a great ruler of his nation he was a great ruler of his kingdom you can say the other meaning of ruler is a scale that you can see in the picture that we use for mathematics and geometry you should use a ruler to draw a straight line number 16 is change change to become different as you can see in the picture that the lady was earlier having long hair and then she has a different hairstyle and she has made a change in her hairstyle long hair became short one like mine the other meaning of change you can say coins for example i want a change of 100 rupees number 17 letter letter means to write a letter on paper when i was a teenager i used to write a letter on a paper like for example i wrote a letter to my mother but now we have electronic media nobody writes a letter on a piece of paper we send the text messages emails etc but still letter writing is a fine art the other meaning of letter is a sign in a language For example you can see the entire alphabet is given here B is the second letter of the alphabet now here i just want to mention one thing most of the people say A is an alphabet B is an alphabet it's not like that actually a set of letters is called an alphabet the ones who haven't seen my lesson on homophone they can go down in the description box the link is given there just click on it and you will see the entire lesson Once you see that lesson you can compare very well the difference between homophone and homonym so friends these are a few homonyms that i have shown you in the video if you come across any homonym please share them in the comment section 
Before I take a leave, just a reminder, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so far and you can find me on my Facebook page and Instagram. I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now.